button is pushed. Thank you. All right. Uh, so what we're doing today uh, is we're learning how to do op art. Uh, you just saw a couple videos on how to do it. Um, you can have your paper either landscape or portrait. Uh, for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just going to go landscape. Okay. Uh, so that was step one, uh, one is the orientation of your paper. Step two then is to do a, a little wavy line. Doesn't have to be crazy. Okay. Now, um, you want to do it lightly. Why? And you want to do it in pencil. Why? Because so you can erase it. Okay. Do not push hard when you do the wavy line because you are going to erase it. I had someone like literally it was like using charcoal and it was so dark and black and we couldn't erase it. Uh, the next step is just uh, vertical wavy lines. And don't get too like caught up in trying to make it perfect. Okay, they're wavy lines. Just have fun with it. Okay, so that is basically step three. So step one is the orientation of the paper. Step two is that horizontal wavy line. Uh, and then the step three is the uh, vertical wavy lines. All right, now this is when we get a little bit um, confused. All right. Uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to go from uh, the middle of this wavy line, you want to go up and then go back down, all right? So it's going to touch this corner here and this corner here. And then what you do is you do the same thing. You go up and then right back down to where it's touching. Now, now I'll keep my uh, pencil here. Right now I'm using chalk, so I'll keep my chalk here and then go back up. And then kind of hug that, come right back down. Go back up and come back down. All right? So it's a really easy process. Okay? Something that looks like that. Okay? So you just did this section here. Okay? Now, um, what I don't want to see is this. Get to the first okay. Part. Why? Yes. No, it doesn't look good. It doesn't look like an optical illusion. I mean, really, what you've done is this looks more two dimensional, while this looks more three dimensional. When we're going for form, when we want form, we want it to look like more like that. Okay. okay. Now, I've that. also okay, had people do this, all right? They go here. Pretty good. Okay, so now what happens is they're missing this part here. They go from the corner, which is correct, but they don't go all the way back down. All right, because they don't go down, there's this space in this location there. And that space, yet again, it isn't correct. So what they've done is they've, it's a hybrid. They've taken a little bit of this, and then they, they took a little bit of this, and then this is what happened. All right, so they, they merged these two techniques, and they created this, which is wrong. Okay, but it's close but it's still wrong, all right? So now, the next step then is you want to do the same on the bottom, okay? Now, you could do it a couple of ways. You can flip the paper over and then just carry on with what you've been doing, okay? Now, what I also want to say is you'll notice that kind of the um, circles or the half circles that I'm making, the, the top of the arc is more so in the middle, okay? Do you see how it runs kind of in the middle? Okay, that's kind of where you want it. Right. On top of that, uh, when we get to smaller sections, we'll do smaller little arcs. And then we, when it gets bigger, we do bigger. Then it house gets smaller again. Now, don't get too small or else it's going to be really hard. It's going to take a long time for you to uh, complete it. But that's what we're looking at. All right. Um, I know a lot of you have already kind of done this. But now what we're going to be really focused on is going to be um, the shading in the color pencils and how to shade color pencils properly and all the blending that goes along with that and specifically the line quality. All right. Are there any questions on how to do this? Because I'm going to leave this on the board. I've got demonstrations online. I mean, it's all there for you guys. If you do have questions, uh, feel free. There is no stupid question. All right.